Hey what's up guys, today the entire LEGO Harry Potter Summer 2021 wave of sets was officially revealed. But first, if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. I post all sorts of LEGO related videos just like this one and I'm sure you'd find them interesting. Anyway, the first set to take a look at is the Hogwarts Polyjuice Potion Mistake and this has the set number 76386. 217 pieces are included and this will retail for $19.99 or £17.99. Four minifigures are also included in this set, a normal Harry, Ron and Hermione, as well as an exclusive 20th anniversary golden Harry Potter minifigure. Next up we have the Hogwarts First Flying Lesson, set number 76395. This has 264 pieces included and will retail for $29.99 or £27.99. Again, this comes with four minifigures. We get Neville Longbottom, Draco Malfoy, Madame Hooch, as well as an exclusive 20th anniversary Golden Professor Quirrell minifigure, which seems really random for him to be put in this set, as Professor Quirrell has absolutely nothing to do with kind of flying in Harry Potter. So that's a bit of an interesting one, but that is what it is nonetheless. Next up though, we have Hogwarts Fluffy Encounter, set number 76387. This has 397 pieces included and will retail for $39.99 or £34.99. This again has four minifigures included, a normal Harry, Ron and Hermione, as well as an exclusive Golden Hermione minifigure. We also get the three-headed dog in this set as well, but I don't know if you want to include that as a minifigure or not. Next up though, we have the Hogsmeade Village Visit, set number 76388. This has 851 pieces included and will retail for $79.99 or £69.99. This time this has seven minifigures included, Harry Potter, Dean Thomas, Professor McGonagall, Madame Rose Murta, Mr. Flume, Mrs. Flume, and an exclusive Golden Ron Weasley minifigure. Next up, we have the Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets, set number 76389. This has 1,176 pieces included and will retail for $129.99 or £129.99, so it's the same wherever you live. Anyway, this comes with a ton of minifigures, 11 to be exact. There's Harry Potter, Ginny Weasley, Tom Riddle, Colin Creevy, Justin Finch Fletchley, Luna Lovegood, Gildroy Lockhart, Albus Dumbledore, Professor Sinistra, Nearly Headless Nick, which is a really cool minifigure which also glows in the dark. Anyway, this set also comes with the exclusive Golden Voldemort minifigure. Next up, we have the Hogwarts Wizard Chess, set number 76392. This has 876 pieces included and will retail for $59.99 or £64.99, which is very strange as that seems completely backwards, but that is the price, so there we have it. This comes with four minifigures. It comes with Harry, Ron and Hermione, as well as an exclusive Golden Severus Snape minifigure. I'm not going to go too in-depth on the builds as I'm going to post a video tomorrow when I go more into them and kind of give more of my thoughts and feelings on the actual builds. But this chess set is actually a functional chess set as all the pieces are there. So technically, if you wanted to play chess with this, then you could. Next up though, we have probably the strangest LEGO set to be released in 2021 and that is Harry Potter and Hermione Granger, set number 76393. This has 1,673 pieces included and will cost $119.99 or £119.99. This doesn't come with any minifigures, so no exclusive golden minifigure in this set. This is a very strange set as it's a brick built minifigure. Again, I will go more into this tomorrow, but I can't see these being too popular as they're very expensive and they don't look too good in my opinion, especially when you look at this for a long period of time, kind of you notice the hands are a bit weird. But I will talk about that more tomorrow, so on to the next set. This is the Forks Dumbledore's Phoenix, set number 76394. This has 597 pieces included and will cost $39.99 or £34.99. This comes with two minifigures, a standard 
Dumbledore minifigure as well as the Forks minifigure. So again, no golden minifigure here. Again, I'm not going to go too in-depth on the build, but I think this looks really nice and it would look really good next to the brick-built Hedwig set that was released, I believe, a couple of years ago now. But I think that would look really nice. Anyway, that is all of the sets that are going to be released for the summer 2021 wave of LEGO Harry Potter sets. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on these. Do you like them? Which is your favourite set? Let me know all that stuff in the comments down below. Again, as I said a minute ago, I will be posting a video tomorrow talking a bit more about the builds and my thoughts and feelings on each of the sets. So be sure to subscribe for that. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, then a like would be greatly appreciated. But thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.